Hey friends, welcome to Deliciously Jabas. Today I'm going to make kadai paneer masala for you. Before we start with the cooking process, let us have all the vegetables cut. Have the paneer cut into bite-sized cubes as well as have all the ingredients ready. To begin with, I am going to take 200 grams of paneer to a mixing bowl and I am taking half a teaspoon of salt, three and a quarter teaspoon of chili powder and juice of a lemon. Mix them well until it gets coated to the paneer. Believe me, it's one of the delicious and easiest dish that you can ever try at home and this is one of my favorite dish. I'm going to help you make this dish in three simple steps. Now it is coated, I'm going to keep it aside for 20 to 30 minutes to marinate. Without wasting my time, I'm going to take one and a half teaspoon of cumin seeds, 10 peppercorns, three pods of cardamom and three cloves. Take a kadai, heat it, add two teaspoons of oil, add these whole spices to it and saute them for a minute. You know what? The beauty of any Indian cuisine is the flavor of the dish will vary from region to region and so is this dish. You can get creative the way you want. And now it is done, I'm going to add two medium-sized onions that is roughly chopped and saute them and cook them for two to three minutes until it is soft in medium to high flame. At this stage, I'm going to add quarter teaspoon of salt, which will enhance the flavor of this onion to the dish as well as helps to soften and cook quickly. Now I am adding one and a half teaspoon of ginger garlic paste. For this, take equal quantity of ginger and garlic, ground them um, to a smooth paste and use it in the dish. Cook it until the raw smell goes. Now I am adding two tomatoes, medium sized, that is roughly chopped and cook them until it is soft. At this stage, I am adding half a teaspoon of salt which will help to soften the tomatoes quick and once it is softened remove it from fire cool it and then transfer it to a mixer grinder jar puree them to a fine paste if you find lumps in that paste you can sieve it and you can use it in the dish next i am taking another kadai adding two teaspoon of oil and to this I am adding um, one medium sized onion that is uh, cut into cubes. In high flame I am going to saute this for a minute. The onions has to get translucent as well as it should become pink. That is the right stage and at that stage I am going to remove it to a plate. Next, I'm going to take one medium sized capsicum cut into cubes, saute them in the same kadai in high flame for a minute. Remember, this capsicum has to be crisp and then remove it in the same plate. Again in the same kadai, I'm going to add half a tomato de-seeded and cut into cubes saute them and remove it to the same plate. Tomatoes are just optional. If you want, you can add. To the same kadai, I am adding another two teaspoons of oil and this time I am adding the marinated paneer and I'm going to saute them and cook them in low to medium flame for three minutes until the raw flavor from the chili goes. And uh, you have to be very gentle in handling this paneer. It should not break. At the same time, it shouldn't brown. If it browns, then this paneer will become rubbery in the dish. Now it is done. 
I am going to remove this to another plate. Next, to the same oil, I am taking one teaspoon of butter, and to this I am adding one bay leaf and one inch cinnamon stick. Fry them for a minute in low, and I am taking one and a half teaspoon of chili powder. and half a teaspoon of turmeric powder and i'm going to saute this in low flame for just 30 seconds just to infuse this flavor into the oil now i am adding this puree to this uh, masala and now i am adding 1 and 1/2 cups of uh, water as well as 1 and 1/2 teaspoon of uh, coriander powder mix them well cover it and cook in medium to high flame for 7 to 8 minutes and every 2 minutes you have to check and you have to stir it and cover and cook until the oil separates at this stage check for the salt and if you need more you can add now i am adding 1 teaspoon of garam masala which is entirely optional also i am adding 1 and 1/2 teaspoon of dry fenugreek leaves crush them between your palms and add to the dish this will add that distinct flavor to the dish mix them well and cover and cook for 2 to 3 minutes in medium to low flame or until the oil separates mm nice aroma now i'm going to add these fried paneer cubes to this dish as well as the sauteed vegetables to this dish please try this recipe at home and share your experiences in the comment section below If you like this video please hit the thumbs up button and for more delicious recipes like this do subscribe to my channel and hit the bell icon for further notifications of my video Now I am mixing it and cover this and cook for another 2 to 3 minutes in medium to low flame or until the oil separates Wow look at this It's ready now and I can't wait to serve this dish. And um if you have every ingredients ready, it will only take you 20 to 30 minutes to finish this dish. I'm adding coriander leaves to top it and also I'm adding 2 to 3 teaspoons of fresh cream. And mix them well. You can enjoy this dish with any Indian flat bread like naan, paratha, chapati. Today I'm going to enjoy this with wheat paratha. Hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you for watching and I'll meet you with another delicious recipes in Deliciously Jabas. Bye-bye.